all. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to the second hour Nightline. I am so happy that you came back to be with us on the second hour. I pray that you were truly blessed um, by what we learned on the, se on the first hour. And I tell you, somebody called in tonight. Um, it said Liz called to say she was verbally abused. She verbally abused her husband a long time ago, but she said at that time she was unhappy with herself at that time and she took it out on her husband, but she's enjoying the program. And then not only that, praise God, but we did have an awesome salvation report. So we thank God for, for that tonight. We're so glad that uh, you gave your heart to Christ and that you became a part of the body of Christ. So welcome to the family. Yay. Praise God. Praise God. I do have a scripture that I want to share. I shared it on the first hour. So I want to share it again on the second hour. Uh, it's Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. And it says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander uh, be put away from you along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving, one another as God in Christ forgave you. And I love that scripture because we serve a God who does, he does forgive us for our sins. You know, one thing about it, I put on Facebook today <laughs> and I say, you know, we can take a shower and a bath and we can clean the outside of us, but only the blood of Jesus <laughs> can cleanse the, on, on the inside. And, you know, there's a song we used to sing about, what can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood can make us whole again. We have the blanket shifts that's going to be on the set with me in a little while. They have been with me and with us on the first hour. And God is using them tonight. I'm so excited to have them with us on Nightline. I love this family. I thank God for them. I get excited just to, the mention of their name, the blanket shells are coming. I'm thinking, okay, I want to be the host for that night. So we get ready to go to the other night, the blanket shells. How could you say no? And John the Revelator, come on somebody. <laughs> Oh 
says John the Revelator. Come on, you can put your hands together tonight. Don't matter if you're at home watching or in here watching. Let's have church tonight, amen? Upon the Isle of Patmos, a man was cast one day. He was left alone to die. He began to pray when the Holy Ghost fell on him, and a spirit it came down. And he began to write about the things he saw. The Revelator's name was John. Talking about John, John the Revelator, saw Jerusalem come and down. Talking about John, John the Revelator. And when he looked around, Lord, he saw feet like brass, eyes like fire, and heard a great voice saying, Come up higher, John, John the Revelator, who rode around the city of God. I love this next verse. While in the Spirit praying, John turned around to see. If the voice that he had heard was what it seemed to be Well, just like men in water, he heard a great trumpet sound And he said, I am the first and the last to Revelator Wrote it down, talking about John, John the Revelator Saw Jerusalem going down, talking about John and when he looked around, Lord, he saw feet like brass, eyes like fire, heard a great voice saying, come up higher, John, John the Revelator, rode about the city of God, talking about John, John the Revelator, saw Jerusalem come and down, talking about John, John the Revelator, and when he Saw feet like brass, eyes like fire. Heard a great voice saying, "Come up higher, John, John the Revelator." Yes, it was John, John the Revelator. I'm talking about John, John the Revelator. John, John the Revelator. Lord above the city of God. Talk about John, John the Revelator. John, John the Revelator. <laughs> Oh my God, I knew I was gonna get it in there the night before it's over. I said, I'm gonna sing with them some kind of way. I tell you what, y'all are amazing. This blessed by the Lord of the Lord. Thank you again for being with us on Nightline. To God be all the glory. I know they pinning y'all up, but I just couldn't get, I can't get it. I can't get over y'all. Hey, we, we love being here, so we're, we're as thrilled as you are. <laughs> so, Eric, Caitlin, and Anthony, thank you all for coming back with and being with us on Nightline. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah all the way from Charleston, Virginia. Oh, West you done Virginia. West Virginia. <laughs> I feel like I'm on ESPN. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, Mountaineer Nation. <laughs> How y'all doing? We're blessed. <laughs> blessed. Um, Extremely blessed. Yes, yes. Um, I tell you, we, and I keep bragging when I when I see you, but I, I've got to just call it as I see it. 
There is so much stuff special about you. The anointing and the, the presence that you have it is just, it's amazing just to sit here and have a conversation or even go out to, to dinner. Yeah. Um, just, we love you. I mean, you're just your family to us. And we, I know you say you feel the anointing from, from us. We, well, I we do. definitely feel it from you. Thank you so much. And Thank you so much. With that being said, I, I'm going to get my stage hand that I didn't hire and can't pay because I'm too poor <laughs> to bring me something here real quick that we decided to do for you. Um, number one, this is every CD in the arsenal. So you're getting eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. We want to give you eight of those from our family to you. And this one is definitely from us because you now have your own but God shirt from our family. So we love you and we wanted you to have that from us. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't mean to make her cry. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm good. We're hoping these are happy tears, folks. <laughs> these are happy tears. I am so, so blessed, so thankful. This is amazing. To Word. God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. Amen. Thank y'all for thinking about me like that. Oh, we love you. Especially this one. <laughs> yeah. She tried to fix her hair like yours and stuff too. But <laughs> it just didn't work. It wasn't working. The hairspray wasn't sticking. Okay. Um... We've done messed them up. Now. <laughs> Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> that really touched my heart. It touched my, my spirit. We feel, we feel the same way about you. Just getting to, to speak with you and to know you has impacted our life dramatically. And I as know. we said earlier, you know, there's not very many people that you come in contact with that from the time that the first word is spoken, you can feel the anointing and the presence of God on somebody's life. And you are definitely what you say you are. Thank you, Jesus. And that's few and far in between. Thank you, Jesus. I, uh, you know, I, I told you earlier today, my husband and I, whenever I hear that you all are coming, I just be so happy. And so joyful because I know that you're the real deal. You know, we you don't just that. sing to be singing, but you can feel the presence of God. And this T-shirt says, but God. But God. And that's the way I feel tonight. Amen. But God. I agree. Because if it wasn't for the Lord, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Amen. But God, Amen. and y'all heard the testimonies of the young ladies that was on the set before you. Absolutely. But God, yeah. So you all are working on a new project, right? That is right. We, yeah. Uh, ironically, the project is called But God. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and we actually, there's a song that we sing um, that's called But God. And um, this album, in my opinion, is going to be one of the very best that we've ever put out. Uh, simply, just simply put, these songs God let fall in line. Yeah. Um, there was no struggle with it. It was like an open book. I mean, and sometimes it can get stressful trying to put things together or organize things. And with this particular album, it was nowhere near that. It was, God just let everything domino right into to place. And um, we have, uh, I'm trying to think, have we did anything tonight on the new one? That one. Yeah, we did Forever Home. We that haven't yet. We done Forever Home's on the, no, I don't think we did any of the new ones yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we did But God on her show earlier. 
Yeah. Um, but the album is going to be really, really good. We've got uh, But God, More Than Just a Hill. Um, there's just so many on that album that if you don't feel something from it, your wood's wet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I know pe people will laugh at us because we're country as cornbread. <laughs> you know, being from West Virginia. <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wink. Hint, <laughs> Cue the graphic map behind us. <laughs> no. Is uh, he picking at me? <laughs> Is he picking? <laughs> no. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> Caitlin about went to get her laser pointer that quick just to point it out. But I tell you, the album is going to be really, really good. It's being produced uh, by, a, I'll call him a young man in Knoxville just to make him feel good. Uh, it's Big Mama Productions in Knoxville, and he came with us last time uh, that we were here. Yeah, I remember. And uh, we miss having him, um, but phenomenal producer, phenomenal guy, and um, he believes in the same thing we do. It's yeah. not the power of money, it's the anointing on the, the record. All right. And that's what we want. I can care less about the mighty dollar. Yeah. Granted, don't get me wrong. I understand. You have to have it to survive. Yeah. But I can promise you, we give more CDs away. Oh, my God. Than we ever sell. Yeah. Simply because I refuse to ever look at anyone and say, you know, if you, if you don't have $15, you can't have one of our CDs. Right. You never know what seeds you're planting. Right. When you give somebody a CD. You never know what they're going through in their life. Mm -hmm. And that's just our stance on it. And we, like I said, we give away probably three times more than we ever sell. Yeah. But God gets us from point A to point B and keeps us and takes care of us. Yeah. I tell you, um, what God's word says, more blessed to give than to receive. Absolutely. Yeah. But on the other hand, we do realize that it does take funds you know, for the kingdom to go forth. That it and does. To do the things that the Lord have us to do. Yeah, she's 14 years old. It takes a lot to feed her. So. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now. <laughs> but, Since everybody's kind of closed in, so it, <laughs> it, it's yeah. going to take a little bit more food. <laughs> you ain't kidding. You ought to see everybody piled in that truck of mine, Lord. <laughs> nah, in all honesty, we, we love to laugh and have a good time. I don't believe for one minute that we got to be dried up pruny Christians. Yeah. Uh, we should be able, to, when, the, when we're out in the community or we're out around people, they should see the joy of the Lord yes. in our lives. Yes. And if we're walking around with our lip dragging the ground, <laughs> the only thing that we're going to accomplish is giving ourselves a hole in our lip. <laughs> I'm, you know what? Well, I'm, I'm going to go to Anthony. <laughs> I nailed you there. <laughs> Bless her, Jesus. <laughs> Anthony, how you put up with this fella? <laughs> but God. <laughs> I know, he said, but God, Eric. Remember, he has to ride home with me. I'm driving. God put him in my life at a time during I got really bad depressed. Yeah. Um, I was basically living out of my car. Yeah. And God brought him in and he gave me a place to live. And I thank God for advancing with every day. Mm hmm. It's hard. And then just to see Eric Carson, which is not with us, yeah. and Kaylin open up. Yeah. It's truly a blessing to be with them. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing how God did put you all together because you all was singing at a nursing home and he works at the nursing home. No, he was a... No, no, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I was working at a nursing home. <laughs> he was a new admit, don't. <laughs> no, nah, he, he was working in the nursing home and at that time it was just me and her. Yeah. And we were singing and I think it was shouting time. Oh, I thought it was mm -hmm. the Jay, or Crab Family song. I think it was I think it was shouting time, but we had done shouting time, and I got to looking, and he's standing over in the back, and he's just bobbing and singing. <laughs> and I noticed one of the ladies in the crowd, one of the other workers, and I was sort of pointed. So they grabbed him by the belt loop and pulled him up front to sing with us. 
since then he's been a part of the group. Uh, yeah. And we wouldn't have it no other way. There's never a dull moment. Um, <laughs> he keeps things very, very interesting and funny in a lot of ways, but he's God sent. Mm -hmm. and, and we wouldn't have that any other way. We know God's words and how can two walk together except they agree. And so you got to have a spirit of agreement among yeah. you in order to keep going forth and be effective Absolutely. Uh, in the kingdom. If you got a lot of, you know, turmoil and people talking against each other and, you know, I don't want to sing that song. With, no, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does that from time to time, but oh. <laughs> no. That's one thing. They, and it's sort of unusual, but with this particular group, <laughs> They, they sort of give me the reins. Yeah. And we normally have a, a laptop that sits up with us up front, and people will ask us all the time, well, what are you singing? Yeah. We never know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what we're singing until I get up there because I can make a thousand lists, and the Holy Spirit will change it every single time. Wow. Praise God. Uh, so we quit making them. So... <laughs> Sometimes she might get a song that she sung when she was two, and then she'll give yeah. me an evil look and then realize I don't remember the words. Yeah. But I have to, I follow what God tells me to do. And if, if she don't remember any words but two, yeah. and those two words go out and touch somebody, then it was worth doing the song for it. Wow. Praise God. Well, we know that you all are going to be singing again and closing out the nightline. And thank you all for coming. And come Thank back you. again really soon. We, we're always excited to have you on, so we're going to let you be released so you can go. <laughs> I'm trying, man. <laughs> wow, well, that was the Blankenship, and we thank God for them tonight. Um, somebody called in and says she is enjoying watching the program tonight, the blanket ships are awesome, and they are. So we give God all the praise for them tonight. And Margie had COVID-19. She was in a nursing home and in the hospital, but she's back in the nursing home and doing fine. So we thank God for that tonight. That's an awesome, awesome praise report. Amen. And someone else called in and said, enjoying the program. So we're so happy to know that you are being blessed tonight and that God is just moving in your hearts and that he's just doing great things um, in your life. And so tonight we're going to be closing out Nightline with the awesome Blankenships. Thank you for tuning in with us. And they're going to be singing, Long As I Got King Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? 
I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, he'll be a burden bearer, he'll be a heavy load sharer, he'll be a bridge of my water, he'll be a doctor and a lawyer, he'll be the bread when you're hungry, he'll be the cover when you're lonely, long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus. Cause I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus. Long, long as I got King Jesus. Maybe. There we go. Come on, you can put your hands back together. It ain't gonna hurt nothing tonight. If you've got him, sing it. I got the Jesus. I got him. Jesus. I got him. Jesus. I got him. Jesus. He's a lily of the valley. He's a bright and a morning star. He's a sweet rosy shine. And the great I am just long as I got King Jesus. Oh. 